okay. Hello, Mr. Evert Harianto Hilman, and to everyone who watched this video, my name is Theodore Beryl and you can call me Eric. Now, I want to present a uh, presentation about countable and uncountable nouns. First, let me share a screen. Uh, share. Yes. Countable and uncountable nouns. First of all, do you know how to use a, a, some, any, much, and many? For example, I'm eating a banana. Second, I'm eating an apple. There's different here. Uh, uh, we use a uh, for consonant in front of the object and we use an for a vocal word in front of the object. Next, I'm working to get some money for living. Then, have you got any sugar? Have how many table do we need? And last, how much coffee have you got? This is uh, just an example for this one. And it's the explanation. What is uncountable and countable nouns? Countable nouns can be counted rather than uncountable nouns cannot be counted. Next, for accountable nouns, for positive sentences, we use a or an for singu singular nouns and some for plural nouns. There's some example, there is a man on top of the hill. So we can count the man, the people, there is one. And I have some book in my bag. For example, you can see here, we can count the book, but for negative sentences, we use yeah, pretty much the same, the same thing. This is the example. I don't bring a cell phone right now. We can count the cell phone. Then there are there are, are not any chair left for me. We can count the chair. So it's countable nouns. Then for uncountable nouns. There is some example like bread, uh, rice, information, tea, safety, money, sugar, coffee, anger, and love. We can count, we cannot count uh, this one, but we can somehow measure how much it is. So in positive sentences, we use some for positive. <clears throat> Example, I have some money in my pocket. In my pocket. Yes. So we can we cannot count money <clears throat> because money uh basically is a piece of paper that have value. Some some money have value for for example a hundred thousand rupiah to 20,000 rupiah so we can account for how much eh yeah how much piece there is because it's on different value then for negative sentences we use any for example I don't have any information in for information there is a lot of things that we cannot count <clears throat> so it's uncountable nouns then 
for the question uh, when we ask for someone for countable we use a or an any or how many okay. for example is there any a power bank that I can borrow are there any pet shop near your house so we can count both of these how many bottles of water did you bring so bottles of water we can count the bottles but if it only waters it categorized as uncountable nouns right. for uncountable we use any or how much is there any coffee how much money do you make in a month okay for exception sometimes when we offer or uh, offering or asking something we use some for politeness for example do you want some milk okay for expression of quantity <coughs> In positive sentences, we don't use many or much. We use a lot of or lots of instead. So there is the example. We can use both of them, both of them, uncountable and uncountable nouns. There are a lot of dust on the table. There is lots of holes on the road. In negative, we use not many for uncountable nouns and not much for uncountable. For example, there are a lot of books on the table, but there are many students in classroom. Second one, there is lots of coffee on the road, uh, but there isn't much water. I mean, this is like we spilled coffee on the road. Yes, just like that. Okay. Next, do you know how to use a few, few, very little and a bit of, for example, my mother told me to take a vacation for a few days. It if we, it's difficult situation and few countries wants to help. I have had very little confidence to sing. I could use a bit of time to think. <coughs> This one we can we cannot count this and then for a, a few is for uncountable few is for countable next one here we use few for plural nouns and a bit of a little for uncountable nouns this is we use this often with for often we feel this amount is not enough or more than we expected and then we use few for countable nouns and very little for uncountable nouns okay we use few and very little to show that we are talking about a small amount all right uh, i think that's all i can present this present it to you to everyone are watching and especially to Mr. Effort Hillman Harian. Mr. Sorry, Mr. Effort Harianto Hillman. And thank you, Mr. for watching my video. That's all.